our experience of the world doesn't perfectly mirror the actual reality out there, right? We have these narrow little conduits from which we get information about the world, sight, sense, touch, etc. And they create in our minds this sense of what the world is, but we also know, obviously, that it's incomplete. Our slice of the universe that we perceive is desperately incomplete, which means that our sensorium, the idea we have about where we are in the universe, is something sort of concocted to allow us to survive. And, you know, evolutionary biologists and neuroscientists know much more about that than I do. But what we know is that it's incomplete. And that suggests that aliens who might evolve in different circumstances and have different needs could develop a different set of senses. And even here on Earth, we see a, a vast diversity of senses uh, among the animals. That's exactly right. And in fact, in, in 1911, this uh, Baltic um, physiologist suggested this idea of the umwelt, which is, as I mentioned, this idea of what are the signals that you're picking up on from around you. So, for example, in the world of the tick, it's just picking up on temperature and butyric acid. That's all it picks up on. And so the question is, would you develop parallel physics if you had a very different umwelt? And obviously we can point at the creatures on Earth, but let's imagine there are dark matter civilizations yeah. that are living in dark matter and living right next to us, but yeah. we can't see them and they can't see us. Uh, that's your question is, would they be asking the same kind of questions or entirely different ones? 